everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the Dr. Nick Show. So, on uh, April, um, pretty much every year during the month of either April or March, uh, this time it was uh, March 29th and 30th, next year it's going to be on April 20th and the 21st. It's always Easter weekend. So I've gone every single year, and that is the Squared Circle Expo Convention in Indianapolis, Indiana. I will tell you this. I went to the very first one in 2021. Every year it gets better and better. The two guys that run this show, it's amazing. They get the best guest, tons of vendors, wrestling memorabilia, Photos, signings, uh, action figures, Lucha Libre masks, just anything you could think of. So I'm going to go through my uh, haul here of some of the items that I got. It's not everything. Uh, I'm also going to do another video on a lot of the other items that I got, like the, the figures and stuff. But this is uh, just some of the stuff that... Uh, I got signed and a few items that I picked up. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with this. These are, these are a few of the figures that I got. So I got the uh, Just Incredible OFSTM, which stands for Old San Francisco, you know, toy maker. Very cool figure. Uh, very happy to add that. I'm trying to get all of the ECWs. I got Tommy Dreamer. And this one is a rather rare one. I got the Sandman. Very cool. You can see on the front of the shirt, it's got him on it. And uh, it's got him with the uh, Singapore cane kendo stick. That one was pretty rare. I had to pay up for that one. But it was well worth it. Because you don't come across those very often. So, you know, any anytime I could add uh, the... Um, ECW figures to my collection. I definitely will. I met the Hardy Boys and I got this WrestleMania 22 pack signed by Matt and Jeff and also got a photo with them. Very happy to add this to the collection. I was super excited to meet them. It was a great experience. If you get the chance to meet Matt and Jeff Hardy, definitely do it. Very nice guys. I got the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, uh, Major Bendy, Steph DeLander. I also met her and got this signed. Um, big fan of the Major Pod. Very happy to add this to my signed Bendy collection. I also was able to meet a WWE Hall of Famer, Eric Bischoff. Got this 8x10 signed by him with the NWO title. Got a photo with him as well. And I, I never thought that I'd be able to do this. But I met the icon Sting. Very cool to have this one. Got a photo with him and a sign 8x10. This is the Great American Bash uh, American Flag Gear. And I did not know this gentleman was going to be there until the last second. I'm in the elevator getting ready to go down to the convention floor. And I run into this guy. I'm a big fan of his. I listen to his podcast. Very cool guy. Chris Van Vliet. Very cool gentleman. I, I loved meeting him. I was so excited to meet him and get a photo with him. And I usually buy a mask every year. There's these vendors there that sell authentic uh, Lucha Libre masks. And I've gotten two different La Parkas. And while I was there, I picked up an Ultimo Dragon mask. Good. Very, very cool mask. It's got the dragon tail on it. And very sparkly. This one fits pretty well. Um, and I was lucky enough to also... Let me go ahead and fix this. This is very cool as well. I got a guitar signed by the Honky Tonk Man was able to meet him. Some people have kind of, you know, mixed feelings on, uh, you know, meeting him. Some people say he's really nice. Some people say he's kind of a jerk. 
I met him for the first time in 2000 and I want to say 2012 or maybe maybe 2000 no 2010 I met him for the first time at an indie show so you know it's been many years I got a really good quality photo with him the last time it was an 8x10 and I uh, a very bad Polaroid I mean that's just what we had at the time for some reason we didn't have digital cameras at the shows to take the photos why i don't know we should have but we didn't um and on the way home i was able to pick up the kurt angle ultimate and i also was able to find the bianca belair ultimate um let me see if I can reach these. I actually picked up a couple VHS as well. If I can reach them. There we go. And I was able to get the Jake the Snake Coliseum video signed by Jake. I uh, met him as well. Uh, I've met him a couple times, but I, I can't pass up an opportunity to meet Jake. I, I just can't do it. He's such a nice guy, and I've always glad to see him. I got the second annual uh survivor series so this would be survivor series 1988 with hogan and macho on the front of it uh, as the mega powers and royal rumble 1996 there was quite a few vhs tapes but these were the ones that really stood out to me i was so happy to pick these up and anytime i can add uh, pay-per-view VHS. My goal is to get uh, all the Survivor Series, um, the Royal Rumbles, the Manias, and the Summer Slams, if I if I can on VHS. So, but like I said, um, you know, if you get a chance, um, it's a great convention. Like I said, they have uh, live wrestling shows there, autograph signings. Tons of memorabilia, signed cards, toys. I mean, just just anything you can imagine. And it's it's only like an hour and something for me, so it's very convenient to go to. But I will definitely be going every single year. I love going to these conventions. They are just so great to go to. And for me to meet guys that I grew up idolizing and, you know, I mean, professional is always professional wrestling has always been a huge part of my life as you can see i mean i literally have an entire room full of wrestling figures and toys and memorabilia and you know all kinds of gimmick items and stuff so thank you for watching i appreciate it and i will see you all later i actually forgot one item that i recently got for one of my uh toy groups the major wrestling figure podcast toy group so i have a lot of wrestling titles i have the Oval Intercontinental WWF, the U.S. title, um, WWE Championship. I've got Undisputed, Big Eagle, Big Gold, Winged Eagle, Spinner, AEW Championship. So this is a title that I've wanted since, gosh, probably 97, 98. This is the WWF Figures, Inc. Intercontinental. I mean, not Intercontinental. Why do I say that? European Championship. Now, I know many different people held this. Sean, Bulldog, um, X-Pac, Al Snow, um, I think also, gosh, was it Jeff Hardy and Matt? I mean, it, it, it was a title that I really enjoyed. The design of this was just always one of my favorites. This was always my Grail Championship that I wanted to add to my collection. And I... This came out in 2001, and I was in high school at the time, and obviously I, I didn't have the money to buy them. I mean, these titles are expensive even now, but uh, I was able to acquire this from a really good group member. So I forgot to add that in the video, and uh, thank you, and I will see you all later.